things. And Peter Rawlinson, if you believe in uh, in Tesla, maybe he is next Tesla. And if you're a a 20 year old kid watching our show who's going to get the stimulus check, I bet you buy Lucid over Tesla. It may be the next Tesla. A lot of people criticize me on uh, Twitter. You know what? I'll reiterate. It could be the next Tesla. Well, is Lucid really the next Tesla? Jim Cramer and many others believe so, but we at Growth Stock Research say no. Lucid is not the next Tesla. Tesla is like a fusion of many many leading tech startups under one roof. And let's be honest, Tesla is so many years ahead in AI software development, for instance, that Rawlinson is not even mentioning Lucid Robotaxis. Accordingly, the market values Lucid at only 6% of Tesla's market capitalization. However, there are two sides to every coin. Lucid has three assets that the market and media seem to overlook, which favor Lucid in comparison to Tesla. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Growth Stock Research. This video is structured in the following way. Number one, three key assets of Lucid compared to Tesla. And number to bonus point food for thought lucid has the luxury to be backed by a 400 billion dollar wealth fund from saudi arabia one of the largest in the world this wealth fund the pif announced to spend at least 40 billion dollars every year until 2025 focusing on 13 sectors one of which is automotive lucid is the main beneficiary no other companies were shown in the pif video talking about their automotive strategy lucid is a strategic long-term investment of the pif since they own over 60 percent of the company so lucid is financially safeguarded by the funds of an entire country it's similar to neo and how it was saved by China around a year ago. Tesla couldn't afford this in the past, and in hindsight, this was good for Tesla. But Lucid does not have to worry about going bankrupt due to a lack of funding. Another thing to bear in mind, Saudi Arabia is desperate to move away from their dependency on oil and have grand ambitions to build a smart city called Neom, where electrification and energy storage is planned to play a key role. The project has an estimated cost of $500 billion, and we can assume that Lucid's energy storage products will play a key role. For a deep dive analysis on Lucid and its partnership with the PIF, including covering the topic of the future Lucid factory in Saudi Arabia, check out our public investment fund videos on our channel. By the way, our channel doesn't focus on short-term price movements. We rather want to present deep dive researched information for long-term investors while valuing your time. Quality over quantity. If you enjoyed this video so far and want to help us reach more viewers, feel free to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. Lucid yields the most efficient battery in the EV industry with 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which Rawlinson claims to be the most important metric of EVs. The most telling metric of where any electric car company is today, there's a single metric, and that is efficiency. How far can I go per kilowatt hour? hour and we can go well over four miles per kilowatt hour. By comparison, the newest Tesla Model S Platt, which came out in June 2021, has an efficiency of around 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. In plain English, this means that Tesla needs more batteries to achieve the same range as Lucid and since batteries are the biggest cost drivers in EVs, efficiency matters. Lucid is able to combine long range with performance better than any other EV maker when it comes to its battery pack technology. Key benefits include faster charging time, longer range and a smaller lower cost battery pack. The efficient design of its electric vehicle unit and the low floor skateboard also allow for more interior space per square foot than any Tesla car. Another important metric is that Lucid Air will be the first car with a range to exceed 500 miles. With the cancellation of the Tesla Plaid Plus, there's a chance Lucid will have the only premium sedan in this price segment to exceed that range for the foreseeable future. It's a milestone engineering achievement. It helps to establish a Lucid brand and to build a larger customer base. It should be pointed out that the next generation Tesla batteries and Tesla's upcoming Roadster with over 600 miles miles in range may flip the script on this, and this may happen in 18 months or so. We look forward to both companies pushing the boundaries of EV battery technology. Many people think that being the first mover is always an advantage. However, in the past, there have been numerous examples where the second mover learned from the challenges and mistakes of the first mover, and sometimes even surpassed them. Think of MySpace versus Facebook, or Atari versus Nintendo. We are not arguing that Lucid will surpass Tesla, but that the second mover, in this case Lucid, can take advantage of advances in newer technology without the capital intensive spending that was required by the first mover. For instance, Lucid has a second generation ultra high voltage architecture of 900 volt, while Tesla systems and vehicles adopted 400 volt largely as a consequence of earlier technology. Tesla had no choice but to build the supercharger network. Lucid has the choice to go for the capital expenditure light solution, and as a consequence, its Lucid Air can also be recharged faster than any Tesla. Public confidence and investor enthusiasm are also in Lucid's favor, as Lucid doesn't have to spend time 
educating and gaining the confidence of consumers on electric vehicles like the first mover, who has had to spend a substantial amount of time on policy and lobbying too. Investors will also have more faith in EVs in the startup phase now because of Tesla's success, a company that has grown more than 10x over the last two years. So Lucid can ride on the coattails of Tesla's success. It also helps from both an expertise and marketing standpoint that almost 40% of Lucid's leadership used to work for Tesla, something we analyzed in our management video about Lucid. Rawlinson is now taking the opportunity to fix all the mistakes he says he made with the Model S, for example, when he was a chief engineer of the Model S at Tesla. While Tesla is busy making EVs accessible to everyone, it leaves the luxury space to Lucid as the affluent would be less willing to spend money on a Tesla if a fresh college graduate can also afford an EV. So there's a risk that the Tesla brand, at least in terms of luxury, will be devalued over time due to its expansive ambition and first mover status. This is something Lucid can take advantage of. To be clear, we've been long-term Tesla investors since 2017 and Elon Musk holds the key to Tesla's success. But even Tesla fans would agree that Musk is unpredictable in his actions and causing trouble for federal agencies, which in turn created great volatility in Tesla stock. This has been a nerve-wracking experience for many investors. On the other hand, Peter Rawlinson is much more modest and far less likely to cause trouble for federal agencies. Rawlinson is also surrounded by a management team full of talent. The former CTO of Rivian is now working for the CTO and CEO of Lucid. Peter Rawlinson. We find it very interesting that the CTO of possibly the most famous EV startup besides Lucid in the US is switching sides to work for Mr. Rawlinson. Aside from that, the Lucid CFO worked for Waymo, for example, and about 90% of Lucid's management worked for rival automakers and various Fortune 100 companies. Some people fear that Lucid may be late to the EV revolution, but we have only reached less than 5% global EV market penetration. In fact, from 2022 onwards, Lucid expects to grow revenue at a compound annual growth rate of nearly 60%, reaching upwards of 22 billion in 2026 revenue, production of 250,000 vehicles, and gross profit of over 5 billion. We have not touched on Lucid's plan to provide battery storage solutions and powertrain technology licensing, with potential to supply technology to the industrial sector, including aircraft, heavy machinery, or agriculture, where potential clients would likely decide to go for the most efficient battery pack solution. To be clear, we don't think Lucid is the next Tesla. We provide our videos merely for educational purposes, but we do believe that Lucid can grow substantially in the next years. In the EV and energy storage sectors, there's still a lot of room for growth. Lucid does have its own competitive technology and as a second mover can better anticipate upcoming challenges thanks to Tesla having paved the road. Of course, we have to take Lucid's projections with a grain of salt. They are a growth company and still have to prove that they can deliver on their projections and promises. In comparison to Tesla, the risk is higher, but so could be the potential growth trajectory given Lucid's market capitalization is also much smaller than Tesla. In the end, we welcome any competition that drives innovation and accelerates the adoption of EVs more broadly, like Elon Musk states. Why do you want the competition? The, 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 the whole point of Tesla is to accelerate the, the advent of electric vehicles and, and sustainable transport. So We're trying to help the environment. We think it's a it's the most serious problem that humanity faces. Your patents are open source? Yeah. So if somebody comes and makes a better electric car that, than, than Tesla, um, and, and it's, it's so much better than ours, that we can't sell our cars and, and we go bankrupt, I still think that's a good thing for the world. What do you think? We will reply to every single comment. If you are interested in learning more about EVs, feel free to leave a like as that would tell us that we should produce further videos in this series. If you are interested in Lucid, you may also enjoy our other videos in our Lucid playlist. Vielen Dank!